or in the hillside uh, live cam out of Duluth and we got some tug action going on. We have a tug pulling and a tug pushing. So we got push and pull. Yesterday I saw one of these guys coming and they just stayed there and I think this is the same one that I saw yesterday. Um, they're definitely are trying to bring them in to maybe get fixed or something. Um, he's definitely not coming out of the out into Lake Superior. I was hoping, you know, the bridge would we'd be able to see one go through, but yeah, let's just hope they can fix it and everything is fine. But yeah, I, I saw it yesterday. I go, oh good, I banged the ship. I found one that's coming through, and it never moved. And I think this is the same one. So you can see the tugs working hard. The little teeny tiny boats can really move those big things. This thing is huge. And sadly, I don't see the name on there, but they are bringing it into land. So maybe they can work on it a little bit. Ooh, that tug at the back one looks like he's really low in the water, but this is just amazing. I don't see them making contact even, so. Yeah, they must be loaded pretty heavy, maybe, maybe too heavy. It does look like it's really low in the water, but what do I know? I'm not a ship nerd, really. I just enjoy our ports. I enjoy knowing I can get out of here. It's not going to be long before we won't be able to get out without having to blast the snow, you know, ahead of us to get out. It's going to be icing in, although it rarely ices in um, Big Superior. It's a huge lake, deep, it's like a water pitcher. Probably one of the deepest lakes in the world. I would think. There's one in Russia that's very deep too. I think it's Siberia. Can't remember the name. See what I'm here I am pretending I know something. Well, you know, you can Google just like I, but I just this is silly. But I've never seen these tugs working like that. So I don't know what the one in the back is doing. Maybe they have it hooked up to something. Very interesting. Yeah, they are bringing it in. And they're pretty close to the canal too, because the hillside is the last part of the, you know, the St. Louis rivers back there. And it's it's kind of amazing, the Duluth port is huge, and it goes way back in there. I got a lot of uh, toxic things, <laughs> sadly, but I guess we need it to survive. You know, we do need some coal, and, but sadly, We've got to learn how to figure out how to do this without polluting everything. Wow, look at that. That is a huge boat. And now there goes their camera. Yep, they're bringing it in. Maybe it's got a big load that they got to drop could be salt. I think this is salt here. And then you have like your coal and uh, so maybe once he drops his load he might have be able to go again. I, I think they might have got over, went overboard. Um, 
I could, I don't know, I should, Paulson knows, look him up, he, he knows all the details. You will hear, I'm going to listen to him later, I know Paul will say something about this, but he's got to put it on, you know, he's got to edit it, and he does great, great um, info. If you want to look up about, if you want to learn anything about shipping, it's Paul. So, anyways, this is just, I'm such, I guess I'm a nerd. I never knew I was a nerd, but I'm kind of nerdy. I would love to ride on one of these things and ride through, you know, I would like to ride to New York in one of these. I think that would be a blast. I don't know if they take people with disabilities on there and if they could get me some kind of rig, rigged up uh, public restroom that I could use. Hell, I'd go on that. That would be the most fabulous trip ever. <laughs> I don't even know if they do that. But that would be, to me, my dream. My dream cruise, riding on a, a big laker, or not ones that go through the canals out to the ocean. I think that would be fun. Not a cruise ship, you know. Cruise ships are boring. I don't want to hang out with a bunch of people that I'm going to try to avoid. <laughs> I'm sorry, I shouldn't be like this. I kind of want to hang out on a working, working barge or working ship and just be a part of this. I don't know if I'd go on a cruise. I don't know. I just don't know if I could be that social for that long. But maybe I could. I would like to do a river cruise. That, that's more interesting, where you can get on and off. I was thinking about Europe has some lovely uh, river cruises over there. But going across the big pond, that's a bit much, you know. Well, they're coming in, they're pulling it in. My goodness. That sucker is low. I mean, it, it's, I think it has a heavy load on that. They overdid it. It got too greedy. <laughs> you know, there you go. Maybe I'm wrong. But isn't Superior's just beautiful, though? Gosh. You can see it out there. So, okay. I don't think I'm going to follow this anymore. So, you guys out there, look up Paul Sinaisa. I think it's S-E-N-A. S-A, I'm not sure. But it's, he does all, he's a shipping nerd, big time. And he will show you what, well, let's stay here. Look at that, they're coming right in here. Yeah, it looks like, yeah, there's a zero. You know, you just got, I just got to admire the skill of these people that drive these big giant boat, boats and, and the little tugboats. It's just like incredible. Oh, this is not good. There, I'm sorry. Oh, what's going on? There. I'm sorry for my, you know, it's bad enough. I'm doing a YouTube. Oh, for crying out loud. But to sit here and do it on a television and, and I can't do it well. <laughs> kind of shows you. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, there's that little tug back there. Yep, they're working it. Oh, for crying out loud. Would you stop that? You have to tilt it the right way. So here we are in Duluth, Minnesota, at the most western port of the United States. Coming from the Atlantic Ocean. You could hook up to the Atlantic Ocean. For crying out loud. See, they're see they're dumping that's coal there. And it could be the railroad. 
No, no railroad there. Okay. My goodness, I think I'm going to follow this for a little while today. I have 10 minutes on here right now. <laughs> 10 minutes. Yeah. This is a long video. I might put this on the YouTube. Because it's, I'm not going to put this on Facebook. It's too long. Okay, bring her in now. Okay, bring her in. Huh. This is very interesting. They're taking care of that she doesn't hit anything. They can't bring her in too fast because she'd crash into. They don't want her to crash in there. Because a tug may be holding her back. He might be reversing on the and I'm thinking a little, because these things, once they get momentum, they probably don't stop. I have no idea. That is definitely call in front of us. They um, bring in call from all over. They know they have a railroad that comes in from Montana with call. Maybe they're picking up call, but I, I don't know. That already looks like it's got a full load but maybe I'm wrong maybe it's not but I thought it was odd that yesterday it just sat there I went, oh I just bagged the ship it's coming through the canal and I'm gonna hear it beep its horn and woo <laughs> I'm one of those nerds you know so dang damn it if you just didn't sit there I went oh So there it is. They got it in. I think they got it in. Maybe not. Well, I should be looking, making sure my cards are ready for mailing right now. I'm sitting here playing with this phone and doing this nonsense that really doesn't need to be done. Yeah, oh, they're putting it into a holding thing. It's going in. I don't know if they're going to show us. But they have an amazing harbor. Amazing. Yeah, they're putting it into... It's amazing they can move these big giant things. You gotta, you gotta admire the skills of the captain and all those um, people that run these things. Oh man, I can't even film a YouTube, a television. <laughs> oh, this is so sad. I'm trying to keep it straight, you know. <laughs> There's no way I'm gonna be able to get on a YouTube channel of my own, I'm not. I'm not Granny Pat, okay? She's she's like professional. She's cranking them out. She's um, in her 80s, late 80s, I think. Amazing, amazing at her age. But I think her daughter helped her get on, or her granddaughter. And she is good at it. She, she does a really jolly good show. And I, it's called Chit Chat with Granny Pat. And she reminds me of, she's born the same time as my mother. It's that era, you know, where she had the rollers in her hair. And, and uh, they're, they're a really good generation, I think. They're no nonsense, practical. Um, I get a kick out of her. She is Southern, I think, or more Kentucky. More Kentucky. But it's just, it's just, you get to learn about her and her, her family and, and her friends and 
and she's really into vintage and it's really kind of interesting you know it's kind of a southern she's more southern in that she has all the china and you know setting tables and she's really skilled artisan um, she makes wonderful um, art out of vintage jewelry and all that and she makes these framed Christmas trees made out of vintage jewelry bling bling and, and they're just gorgeous and they sell them in the hundreds of dollars so I'm just kind of amazed at people they have their little YouTube channels and they're also different and they don't they don't uh, <laughs> video the television. I'm, I'll assure you of that. <laughs> so anyways, I'm going to let you go now. I guess they got him all tucked away in his little hidey hole there. Hopefully they can, I don't know, do something. Because I think it's been sitting there 24 hours. I'm going to go look at Paul, Paul's channel, and just see what's going on. So all righty. Um, I'm, I got to look at my Christmas cards and make sure they're all right and, and do more of my Christmassy stuff. <laughs> so, okay. Merry, merry, happy holly and all that jazz.